all right so uh, hey everyone uh, my topic for today's discussion is an architecture independent uh, solution for vectorized 2d convolution and image processing so uh, but let's uh, let me just start with an introduction of uh, myself so i am a pre final year undergrad ece engineering student from vgti india with a primary interest in high performance computing and machine learning i've been a linux foundation mentorship uh, participant in 2021 with risk phi as my host organization uh my purpose of applying to this mentorship was uh, to gain hands on experience in leveraging low level register functionalities to obtain significant speed ups in high level algorithms apart from that i've been a google summer of code part, uh, participant in 2021 with boost c++ libraries so uh let's have a look uh, at a brief overview of what this project was actually about so uh, let's start with some predetermined goals so uh, uh we uh, the first and foremost predetermined goal was to develop a platform independent implementation of 2d convolution uh, using mlir in the buddy compiler ecosystem so the buddy compiler ecosystem uh, is a is the project which is specifically dedicated for efficient uh, risk phi ir generation uh, we uh, basically implement techniques which are uh, more favorable for the risk phi architecture and would increase the performance on such machines uh, apart from that i was uh, expected to develop some common image processing features such as uh, variable anchor point positioning and boundary extrapolation uh, we also agreed on comparing and benchmarking our results with uh, open series implementation in order to get a better idea of where we stand against state of the art uh, methods so uh, let's uh, have a brief look at uh, what was actually completed so all predetermined tasks uh, mentioned in the previous slide were completed and the code was uh, merged with main project Uh, apart from that uh, uh, me and my, me and my mentor had a discussion and uh, we agreed of uh, on creating a, a digital image processing dip dialect for image processing via efficient ir generation and uh, i also developed a custom algorithm on top of an existing cdsm approach for uh, performing ip specific convolution so uh, uh, before we move further ahead i'll just like to uh, clarify some terminology here so in general sense convolution involves uh, of flip flipping a 2d kernel in both horizontal and vertical directions uh, however usually uh, in literature they do not uh, mention the flipping part and uh, many a times just uh, use it exchangeably with the correlation thing so even here for consistency i am using the term convolution without explicit specification of any pre processing done on the filter kernel so that we do not have any uh, further confusion in the ppt so let's move ahead so uh, let us now understand uh, what this project was actually about so uh, as you might have already guessed from the title uh, the two main pillars of this project were uh, convolution and vectorization so as many of us might already be uh, knowing that uh, convolution is a mathematical operation uh, specifically in the context of image processing it is used for extracting some amount of information from an image using a two dimensional kernel so the size and value of this two dimensional kernel uh, uh, is actually uh, determining the transformation effect on the convolution process so uh, let's now have a look at vectorization so in simple terms vectorization uh, may be defined as the art of getting rid of explicit for loops in your code so this is uh, done by some special magical registers known as uh, simd registers or vector registers depending on the architecture used so these registers actually perform the same set of operations on all values stored inside them and uh, since they they are present at the lowest level uh, vectorization is of a hardware dependent which makes it a pain to write generic code which is capable of extracting performance from these registers on all hardware platforms so this is this was the actual problem which uh, we were targeting in this mentorship program so let's now have a look at uh, what uh, the our project was actually about so as it is evident from the title uh, a vectorized 2d convolution so basically we are applying uh, the vectorization on a, a 2d convolution algorithm so since uh, vectorization is applied we were able to process multiple pixels at the same time which uh, resulted into an implementation which was many, many magnitudes faster than uh, usual scalar loops uh, though our implementation works on uh, all, many architectures it uh, benefits a lot from dynamically sized vector elements uh, this is available in modern architectures such as uh, risc phi or uh, arms ve so let's now have a look at uh, uh, results obtained so Uh, we are comparing our results with open cv so this was the original image of lena and these three are the uh, results which i obtained after applying sobel 3 cross 3 phi cross phi and 7 cross 7 filter all of them were in agreement with open cv's uh, output so let us now have a brief look at uh, benchmarks so these benchmarks were actually implemented using uh, google benchmarks uh, on an image having dimensions as 1024 cross 1024 uh, on avx512 so these benchmarks are implemented uh, on uh, as time versus iteration count 
where iteration count is the total number of iterations both of these algorithms will run for in uh, each execution of the google benchmark file so as you can see for the case of a uh, uh, kernel having a size of 3 cross 3 the dip implementation is performing uh, better than opencv and uh, we can safely say that the performance improvement is a bit more than uh, twice to that of opencv uh, so uh, uh, like let's just have a look at what happens when we increase this kernel size so as we increase the kernel size from 3 cross 3 to 5 cross 5 you can see that uh, the dip implementation is still performing a bit better than, but it is not i mean the uh, difference is actually reduced and uh, opencv is not that far behind in the kernel size of 5 cross 5 and if we were to further increase the kernel size to 7 cross 7 we can see that opencv now actually performs even better than the uh, dip implementation so uh, this is the uh, effect which we are currently investigating and are trying to improve the performance even for uh, larger kernels so so uh, let us have a brief look at uh, what i learned so the first thing which i learned here is uh, how compiler optimization works specifically i created a novel mlir dialect named dip in the buddy compiler uh, project uh, uh, for adding support of digital image processing uh, i even created a lowering pass for a lowering 2d convolution in image processing fashion via vector affine membref and scf dialects of mlir uh, i interacted with the mlir git tool for ir debugging and development uh, the next thing which i learned uh, was related to memory layout and low level register handling so this specifically includes uh, loading storing prefetching as well as processing some elements of a register in a fixed batch size uh, using masks uh, i also was exposed to the dynamic length feature of risc v isas vector uh, design so the risc v isas vector design actually improved helped me improve the performance of my algorithm quite significantly uh, i was also uh, uh, i was also uh, explored to the uh, improved memory access pattern for complete utilization of uh, cache so uh, the third thing which i learned is related to image processing and math so i created a custom algorithm for handling variable anchor point positioning and boundary extrapolation for uh, dynamic image dimensions on top of a existing cbsm approach i further developed an outline for adding support of separable convolution for rank 1 separable kernels so uh, let us uh, now briefly discuss my future plans so uh, we are currently uh, uh, working on writing the or uh, writing a research paper for documenting our custom approach as mentioned in the previous slide uh we uh, we also have further uh, plans of development the dip dialect with addition of more image processing operations in it uh we also uh, want to implement the support of multi threading in dip dialect uh with the pre existing support in mlir which would basically uh, help us improve its performance uh, my long term goal in my career is to be a part of the upcoming performance evolution and contribute significantly in increasing efficiency of modern systems after the end of moore's law apart from that i would like to attend an offline linux foundation event so uh, uh, i would also like to uh, thank my mentor mr hongbin zhang for taking out the time from their schedule and playing a very integral role in completion of this project uh, he provided uh, meaningful feedback and constructive criticism whenever required uh, uh, his guidance was really helpful for me and his experience uh, was really handy to uh, for the completion of this project so i'm very grateful for his time and uh, his efforts finally i would also like to thank um, the amazing people at uh, risk fi and the linux foundation Uh, uh for providing me with this amazing opportunity uh the uh, staff of risk five was really uh, friendly and they answered all of my non technical questions as soon as possible uh this uh, basically ensured uh, the smooth completion of my mentorship project so i'm really uh, grateful for uh, all their effort and time so uh, uh, these learnings would definitely play a very significant role in all of my future endeavors so uh, really thank you for that uh so these are the uh, this slide contains uh, the handles to my uh, social media so uh, you can connect with me on uh, linkedin or twitter or uh, mail me so uh, i i think that's um, that marks the end of my presentation so uh, thanks a lot for your time and you've been an excellent audience